Hey y'all, wanna go over a tip inside of ClickUp that's gonna help save you a ton of time when it comes to a signing workout inside of your workspace. So if you're a project account manager or anyone that is deploying templates inside of ClickUp and wants an easy way to actually assign that workout that's not gonna take you time going through each individual task and assigning it, this is a video for you. So a few things to note is if you haven't read through our ClickUp for Agencies guide, I highly recommend it. It's gonna walk through a lot of initial setup steps to make this video make more sense. But if you've used ClickUp a lot and you understand views as well as templates and how they work as well as custom fields inside of ClickUp, you should be good and this video will make a lot of sense. But I wanna go through step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to actually incorporate this deliverable custom field into your process template so you can use it to assign work. So what you wanna do first is you wanna build a process library inside of ClickUp. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail there, but just build a space out called your process library. This is where you're gonna store all of your process templates inside of ClickUp, make it super easy to organize, come back, optimize them because you want to have a spot that's organized where you can come back and update them because these processes are not gonna be static. You're gonna to continue to improve upon them, add things, so on and so forth. Um, but in these, uh, I'm gonna go through an example of a podcast episode. This is gonna be our a task template in ClickUp. Um, so I'm, task template's gonna bring my parent task, all the subtasks, all the descriptions, checklists in these tasks, as well as the dependencies, custom fields, ClickUp native fields, things like that. It's all gonna come with a template. So here I have my podcast episode, all the steps necessary to complete it, my due dates, my time estimates. That's gonna be very helpful. Create a date map, have my time estimates for for workload reasons, um, and then my deliver role here, which is what I wanna talk about. So deliver role, this is gonna be a drop down custom field, and this is going to be, you'll wanna label this um, with all of your different deliver roles that you would have um, at your business, at your agency. This is not necessarily a one-to-one -one relationship with each person, this is not a job title, this is just a role that would complete this task. So something, for example, you're not gonna have a proofer um, job title at your business, at your agency, but you might have proofer as a role because someone might be proofing something, that's what they're gonna be doing when they complete a specific task, task that might be our deliver role within this instance. However, they might not be just a proofer, they might be multiple things. So the reason we use deliver role is it's going to help make these scalable. You can build assignees into each of these tasks, but if you build assignees, that means that's tied to one person that does each of those. So if you have a bunch of different clients where someone might not always be doing the podcast strategy, you don't want those assignees built into your templates. You wanna have a different identifier that's gonna help us decide who is a senior strategist for this client and this client and this client, which is gonna help us assign that work and make these templates more scalable as your business grows and just make it way easier to manage rather than bringing that assignee into those templates. So within this, again, be thinking, what are the specific roles that would complete these tasks? So like a copywriter, we have strategist, designer, a lot of different options you have, project manager, proofer, account manager, ad specialist. So again, be thinking about those deliver roles that you might have for your business. And once I get all of that built in, again, I have my tasks in here, due dates, time estimates, my deliver roles, any other custom field I might need. We have some recommendations. Um, some of those are gonna be listed in our ClickUp for Agencies guide, um, but also wanna have the dependencies in here too. Um, now I can go and save this as a template. So I've already saved this as a template, but what you do to do that is you can come here to templates, save as a template and do that at the parent task. And that's gonna bring the parent task with everything else underneath that parent task. So once that's saved as a template, I can now go to my delivery space. Let's see, Dunder Mifflin needs a podcast episode. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into the list settings here. I can go into my templates, browse templates. I'm gonna choose my task templates, just like that. And type in podcast episode, which is what I called this. Use this template and you can name it up here if you want. I'm just gonna leave a podcast episode for this example, but this would be the name of your podcast that you're doing for Dunder Mifflin. Remap the dates. Let's say this one's gonna be due on June 8th and I'm gonna use the template. And from there you can, we'll let it um, load inside of ClickUp. And once that's loaded, we'll notice that we have all of our tasks in here, um, but nothing is assigned. We remapped all of our dates, of the time estimates and everything is in here as well, which is great. Um, but now what we wanna do is we wanna create a view um, called the assignee view that's gonna allow us to bulk assign this work. So what I can do here, I have assignee view created. A few things to note about this is A, you're gonna be grouping by that deliver role custom field that you have applied. So that's gonna be super important because as you can see now I have strategist, copywriter, designer, it's all um, there for me. 
you'll also want to go to your settings and you want to make sure that subtasks are shown as separate tasks. That's going to take all the subtasks underneath that podcast parent task and bring them out um, so that they're separate um, all by themselves. And then once you have that, you're good to go. So now what I can do as you'll see, if I come over here, I highlight this. Uh, this puts this little button here for me. I click that, and now I'm grabbing all of the strategist tasks. And what I can do is come up to the top, use my multi-select toolbar and click up. And now I can assign this to myself, just like that. I'm the strategist, the copywriter, let's say, is Ian. And then you can go on through the rest of it. And then you'll see, once you get all those assigned out, if you go to any other view, you'll see that these tasks, which I have grouped by assigning here, let's do group by none, We'll see that the tasks throughout my process, which I haven't assigned all of them, are now assigned to those specific people, whoever the strategist was, copywriter, so on and so forth. So it makes it super easy to assign those out in bulk. In addition, as you'll notice, now that we have all of these roles applied to our tasks, as I deploy a ton of these, this is going to help us make hiring decisions because in the future, I'll then be able to see, okay, do we have a ton of copywriter tasks? Do we have a ton of strategist tasks? And maybe we need more copywriters. Maybe we don't have enough. That's also going to be the other impact that that custom field will have. You'll be able to note, okay, what kind of role do we need to hire because we have a lot of work, but not enough uh, people on our team to actually fill that specific role. So deliver role really helps in that um, capacity there for you and your team. So definitely go implement that, start using it. Again, first steps, download our ClickUp for Agencies guide, read through that. It's going to be super helpful to explain a lot of the prereqs leading up to this video, but hopefully this is helpful. If you have any other questions or any other custom fields that you've been using um, on your team that have definitely helped with a lot of this stuff, let us know. We'd love to talk more about that. But again, hope this is helpful. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks.